Many PCs are great because they're small, generally quiet, and have low power consumption. And I know there are a lot of complete small NAS systems out there, and there are also systems like the Zima board which support PCIe, but I was wondering if I could build a mini PC as a NAS using an NVMe to SATA adapter. So I did just that, and it turns out it works. So let's get started talking about how it works. Now, I'll fully admit that this is obviously not a production setup, a practical setup, and maybe not even a setup you want to do. But I did want to do it as a thought experiment and show that these little devices, these 10 g Tech M2 SATA adapters, actually work perfectly fine. Matter of fact, part of the reason I'm doing this video isn't just to show that it works, but also because I have an upcoming video on a NAS review that is using one of these. This is something you can use if you need to expand and you happen to have M2s available as a slot and you want to put a few more SATA drives in. Obviously, if you have PCIe ports, that would be an easy way to do it. And the same company does sell PCIe ones. And what these offer is direct access to the drive. So the OS that you load, in this case, it's TrueNAS, will allow direct access to the drive via this. Now I'm doing this on Electric Yield 24.10.2, the latest version available here in February 2025. And it's running on a little mini PC that has an AMD Ryzen 7 7735. Now the exact model of the mini PC is an Ace Magic AM20. I can't find it anymore on Amazon. I don't think this particular model is made, but it's not that important because as long as you have an the example I'm using here is a couple different slots, one for the boot OS and then another one to plug those drives in, you're fine. But if you only had one, it should still work because then you just sacrifice one of the SATA drives to become the boot OS and then the rest be part of your array. So there's a couple different ways you could set this up. But as I said, I just want to show the practical side that it worked. Now, because this is just set up as a ZFS storage array, it's one RAID Z1, six wide. So if we go to devices, we see we have all six SATA in here. And these are just some generic consumer SATA SSDs. These are not very high performance ones, but for those doing the math, you're probably wondering, does it perform at all? What are the specs and what can you get out of these? Because theoretically, six drives should be able to possibly saturate the bandwidth for that slot. So let's do some testing and show you how fast it is. Now I've got net data set up and I've chose last five minutes and I said force play that way when we choose to a different window, it'll keep playing in the background, but I'm using FIO and I've talked about this before on my channel. It is a benchmark utility. It's already pre-installed from the command line on your TrueNAS system. And you can see right here the command I'm using for it just to do some random read write tests. And we're gonna go ahead and run this and see what kind of performance we get. So it'll start the jobs. It's got a ramp up period of a couple seconds and we're actually seeing, you're gonna get obviously some artificial read on here of 512K IOPS versus the rate of 232 because, well, ZFS caching will kind of fool with the numbers, but that's why I also have a write going on here. So 340,000, it's still pretty good here. And let's go and look and see what net data says. And if we look at the total disk writes here and we'll move the mouse over to it, we're hitting 1.3 here at those disk writes. Matter of fact, this only has a pair of two and a half gig. That's one of the reasons I didn't do a transfer test because the bottleneck would have been the two and a half gig network interfaces. And I did run FIO quite a few hours on this trying to see if, well, the magic smoke would come out because that little adapter does have a heatsink on it. The heatsink got kind of hot to the touch, not to the point where I thought it was gonna burn me and not to the point where the magic smoke came out. So. I think it seems to be fine running it for several days. But there are some limitations I want to mention right away. That particular AS Media ASM116 M2 NVMe adapter only supports PCI 3.0 by 2, which means much of the limitation is going to be that because six SATA SSDs could probably offer more performance than the chip could deliver, but some of you may want to use this setup with mechanical drives, which will be better match for this. Matter of fact, the upcoming video I have is using mechanical drives with a similar adapter and well, like and subscribe to see that upcoming review. I wanna hear from you though. Leave those thoughts and comments down below. Is this a dumb idea, a great idea? And before you ask me where the little 3D printed holder came for the drives, one, I don't like that holder much. And two, I have no idea where the STL file is anymore. That's been printed for years to hold the drives, but there's plenty of drive holders that you can find uh, that are 3D printed to do goofy little setups like this. Head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com to have a more in-depth discussion about this and other topics. I'll leave a link directly to that particular AS model if you want the same one because you know it works with TrueNAS. That's linked down in the description below. Head over to lawrencesystems.com to connect with you on the socials or whatever socials you find me on there. And thank you.
Lawrence Systems thanks our sponsors for their support.